everyone. Welcome, guys. Welcome this evening. Uh, hey, Joe, welcome, Joe, welcome, welcome. Hey, guys, let's go over the markets um, for our monster scalper traders, so our Forex traders. I want us to open up with this right here. All right. We've seen a lot of consolidation in Forex. All right. So um, if you guys uh, take a look at your monster scalper screen, you'll notice that we've got about, I'm going to bring it up here. All right. We've got about um, only 17 pairs that are above 20. All right. So that's not good for, for the Forex market. All right. Hey, Betty, welcome. So it, it's con Forex is consolidating. We got up to, I think, um, 13. We only had 13 pairs, 13, 14 pairs uh, that were above 20 earlier today. Hey, Solomon, welcome. All right. So right now, 17 pairs that are above 20. All right. So, um, Forex is in a tight consolidation. If you guys notice here, all the rest of the pairs, no, that doesn't mean you can't trade, right? So we have to be selective, uh, but know that um, you will not get a lot of movement um, from uh, Forex right now, all right? So again, um, only 17 pairs that are above 20, right? All the rest of the pairs here, all the rest of the pairs here. We track 57 pairs, guys. All right, 57 pairs. All the rest of the pairs are. All right, guys, help me with the background noise there, please. All right, all all the rest of the pairs are right here, all the way down here. Be those that are below 20 in red, they are consolidating. All right, so just keep that in mind. Right, that's important to know that the forex market is currently consolidating. All right, and again, we've got 17 pairs above 20. I think we got down as low as 13, 14 pairs. All right, so um, keep that in mind. All right, keep that in mind as we go through um, the markets uh, this evening. All right, uh, the Dow is still holding. All right, so the Dow is still holding. Uh, the dollar is still continuing to come down, looking to test support right here. All right. So currently the Dow is at 102 right here and uh, support is at 100. So selling continues in the dollar. So if you guys look here, right. So the dollar continues to come lower three days so far of selling. All right. So um, keep that in mind. Right, keep that in mind. Gold, uh, gold is holding firm. Right here is resistance, so it's right trading right above resistance. Um, holding hasn't moved much, but holding above resistance there. All right, um, pound yen, and we talked about this. Right, pound yen is in a tight consolidation in here. All right, and we can use pound yen as a barometer. So as pound yen continues to tighten, right, right, right here, this triangle right here, price is being squeezed. We'll notice that in the forex market. Okay, so just just expect continued consolidation until um, pound yen, right, and most of the yen pairs, right, which they control the forex market. All right, either break out to the upside or to the downside. All right. All right, very good. Uh, let's go over our trades this evening. All right, so let's go over the trades we currently have. Uh, we'll start with uh, Monster Scalper, and we'll start with the long positions, long positions in Monster Scalper. All right, stop me, guys, if you have any questions. All right, so Aussie, Euro Aussie, right? Euro Aussie is trading near support, white candles. All right. If if anyone is in it, if we get a red candle, you, you need to get out. But right now it's holding support. Support is right here. We need buyers to step in, come back in, test resistance here, and then hopefully break out. Buy signal was here, buy the system. All right. Buy your monster scalper system right here. Right. Holding support is right here. Here is resistance. All right. So just continue to hold. 
Uh, Euro New Zealand, same thing. Buy signal is here. Trading near support right here. White candles, right? We just need buyers to come in. If we get, if you guys are in it, it's under 240 time frame. If you're in it, if you get a red candle, sell signal, go ahead and get out. Uh, EURTRY, all right, made a move higher, broke through that resistance, closed back right here below resistance. Still green candles still holding, nothing to do here. There, uh, euro dollar, right? Euro dollar. I heard from some of you today, all right, trading euro dollar. All right, so good job. Some of you traded it on the 60 minute time frame, so good job. All right, buy signal is here, right? Give a red candle, we got out, but we got back in. Okay, got back in, so it's still looking um, really good to continue to move higher. That's euro dollar, all right. Um, pound Aussie, right? Buy signal is here, trading right near um, um, support, all right? Nothing to do, it's still holding um, the markup phase, right? Green candle right here, so just continue to hold that. That's pound Aussie, pound CAD, pound CAD. Um, keep an eye on pound CAD, guys. Buy signal is here. Trading at support right here. White candle. We need a bounce. We have purpose support and resistance. All right. That's always a concern. All right. That's always a concern. All right. So just we got lower highs, lower lows within the markup phase. So we need buyers to come in. All right. So don't do anything yet until you get a red candle or sell signal to get out. Otherwise, stay in the trade. Pound New Zealand, pound New Zealand, same thing. All right, white candles, right? Here is resistance right here, right? So it's trading above resistance. We just need buyers to come in, green candle. Hopefully we'll have, um, we'll get that overnight. All right, so that's Forex, uh, Monster Scalper Long. All right, Monster Scalper Long. All right, uh, let's take a look at the shorts. All right, Monster Scalper short. All right, NZD JPY sell short signal is here. All right, right here, sell short signal. All right, price has retraced. We have uh, white candles. All right, we need sellers to come back in. Right, need red candles to continue the markdown phase. If if you guys are in it, if you get a green candle, close the trade. Right, green candle, sell, uh, buy to cover signal. You need to close the trade. All right, close the trade. All right, we need price to come back down, test the lows. All right, but expect consolidation. This is part of the yen pairs, so New Zealand yen. All right, so. Expect some consolidation. Uh, dollar and okay. All right. Let's take a look at the dollar index here. Let's see what it's doing. All right. The dollar is moving lower here. All right. Dollar is moving lower. All right. So we can expect the dollar pairs to continue to move lower. All right. So let's go back here. So uh, USD and okay. All right. Sell short signal here. We had sellers to come back in. Sellers are holding right here. We need um, sellers to continue to move down to the markdown phase. So nothing to do here. Good trade going here. Um, USD PLN, another dollar pair, right? Sell short signal here. White candles here, right? Held on. Sellers came back in exactly what we needed. And guess what? Continuing to move lower. Nothing to do there. All right. EURN, okay. Sell short signal here, white candles, red candles, all right? Sellers came back in, all right? Moving nicely lower, all right? And Aussie Swiss, Aussie Swiss closed, guys, right? So buy to cover, all right? Um, we were hoping this would stay, right? Because we, we shortened a few of the Aussie pairs in um, Forex Dominator. So we'll take a look at those. But Aussie Swiss, we need to be out. All right, so we're going to close that, get out of that, Aussie Swiss. So if anyone is trading that short, Aussie Swiss, Monster Scalper 240, uh, close that trade. All right, follow the process, guys, follow the process. All right. All right. 
Any questions, just shout it out or put it in the chat for me. All right. As we go through these. All right. Forex Dominator. Forex Dominator. You guys know we trade Forex Dominator on the daily time frame. All right. So uh, Euro CAD long. Buy signal is here. We're still holding. Nothing to do, guys. All green candles. Nothing to do. All right. Euro EURSGD. All right. Buy signal is here. It's been holding. We're getting green candles to come in. One, two, third day currently. All right. So it's moving up slowly, but at least it's moving up. All right. EURSGD. EURTRY. Right. Holding nicely. Broke through resistance today, but pull back a bit. All right. And it's still holding here. All right. So we needed to break, needed to break the resistance. Uh, we could get, if it does break, we could get big candle to break through. All right. EURSGD. So if anyone is in it, just hold on. All right. All right. EUR, uh, I'm sorry. EUR, that's EURTRY. This was EURSGD. Um, dollar CAD. All right. Be careful. We really should not be in dollar CAD. Um, uh, long, right? Because those are going short, all right? So um, dollar caddy long right here, testing support right here, all right? Um, if anyone is in it, just pay close attention. We really should close this trade. So um, I'm going to close it, all right? Purpose support and resistance, the dollar index is moving lower, dollar pairs are moving lower. So we'll we'll get out of that one. we got two white candles here all right we, we want to wait for a red candle here so we'll close that all right so dollar cad in forex uh dominator all right all right so clean things up all right uh pound cad pound cad is holding nicely here buy signal here new support and resistance lines all right so nothing to do there pound cad all right pound sgd same thing all right, buy signal here, holding nicely, looking to test resistance here. So those are the longs. And let's take a look at the shorts. All right. And these are the shorts in Forex uh, Dominator, right? Forex uh, Dominator. All right, we got tons of shorts. So Aussie CAD, guys, sell short signal here. Uh, still holding. All right, Aussie Swiss, so these are the Aussie pairs. Sell short signal here, still holding, All right? Aussie New Zealand, sell short signal here, still holding, nothing to do, all right? All right, um, Aussie dollar, Aussie dollar, okay? we could see where the Aussie dollar um, move higher, okay? So um, here's the sell short signal right here. White candles are coming in. Keep an eye on this, all right? Keep an eye on this, all right? If it gives a green candle, uh, I would say if it gives a green candle, it gets above resistance here, all right? Just go ahead and close it. Take, take the, a small loss, all right? If you close it here, all right, you could close it here. All right, because you know um, the dollar pairs are moving lower, right? So the reverse, right? The Aussie dollar that could move higher, okay? And what we don't want to do is really get it if it spikes, get big candles to come in like here, right? Um, that loss could to, could become greater. So if anyone is in it, okay, um, in forex dominator on the daily time frame. Um, you might want to get out if you do want to wait for you. I mean, you could get some sellers to come in, all right? But again, you might want to get out, all right? We'll leave it for now. NZD CHF, all right? Sell short signal here, all right? White candles. Hopefully, we can get some sellers to come in. Red candles, nothing to do yet on that. Um, Aussie yen, right? Moving down nicely. Sell short signal here, right? Open down nicely. Um, Aussie, um, I'm CAD yen, sell short signal here, still holding in the markdown phase. 
Uh, Swiss yen sell short signal here. White candle sellers are coming back in. Nothing to do there. Uh, New Zealand uh, yen. All right. Uh, sell short signal here, holding right here. We have a lot of support down here. We'll keep an eye on the yen pairs. All right. Um, we'll keep a, an eye on the yen pairs. We know the, the yen pairs are consolidating here, at, um, consolidating. So we might, we'll see what happens, okay? But we could, if you guys look here, we have pretty good support here, 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 and here. And then we've got pretty good resistance. And this is on the lot of, a lot of the pairs, pretty good resistance up here. All right, so this is where sellers are sitting, right? And then this is where buyers are sitting here. And it's trading within, right? Support resistance here, support down here. So we could get buyers to come in and push the price higher here. So uh, we'll keep a close eye on the yen pairs, all right? If the, the market continue to move higher, which it has been, we could see the, the, the um, yen pairs move higher, okay? They tend to follow um the broad market uh, uh same thing here sgd jpy sell short signal here really good support here all right and they're holding support all right and the market is consolidating usually when these markets consolidate they have to break out all right they have to break out um so it's it's a, i know we don't like it when these markets consolidate but um in order for them to break out and start to trend, they have to consolidate, right? They have to consolidate. So um, that's what's happening now. So tight consolidation, really good support here. All right. Um, hey, it's your, your triangle here. All right. SGD, JPY, we could see continued um, consolidation, right? Um, hopefully it will break through breakthrough support if not we'll see some more consolidation all right if you get a green candle go ahead and close the trade sgd jpy but currently we have a sell short signal okay sell short signal and um early markdown phase try jpy try jpy sell short signal all right it's been trading fairly decent right in the markdown phase sell short signal right here looks good to make another wave down all right so nothing to do there so no changes except for one in forex uh, dominator all right uh, but we'll keep a close eye on um on the yen pairs all right all right um gold um is still holding all right in monster futures gold is still holding nothing to do there all green candles all right so trading a little bit above resistance nothing to do and uh the only short that we have currently is crude oil all right crude oil all right, in Monster Futures, that short is still holding, right? Not a big move, but still holding. Uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is has retraced to 27,000. We have new support and resistance lines, guys. All right, this is on the daily time frame on Bitcoin. So we have new support and resistance lines, green candles, right? Held support right here. And now it's looking to test, um, get back to 28,000. Okay, so um, if you guys notice, not a lot of moves. Everything is kind of holding. All right, everything is holding right now. All right, all the markets are consolidating. Okay, uh, stock boss. Uh, one second here. All right, KC. All right, pull back. If anyone is holding it, just continue to hold. Buy signal came in here, 
Currently, it's at, what's that, 610. All right, yes, yeah, 610. I continue to hold it. Riot, right, same thing, okay? Uh, market is holding, so we don't have, uh, market isn't selling off, all right? We'll take a look at the, the indexes, okay? So um, if you guys are in any of these stocks, just continue to hold. Um, SVM, SVM. Um, I think that's a silver precious metal. Okay. Um, buy signal was here, made a, a nice move today. All right. So it made a nice move up today. All right. So that looks good. Uh, in bull master, uh, bull master, uh, A E H R A E H R buy signal is here, pull back a bit. So keep an eye on this one. If anyone is trading it. And E N V X is holding also. All right. Don't go heavy in stocks, guys. So just be very selective. Um, the only group right now um, that you should be trading is basic material, gold and silver. All right. And um, tech technology. All right. Technology. We have a couple of shorts in Monster Short. All right. Um, ARGT, ARGT, all right, ARGT, all right, buyers are coming in, right, white candles here, right, here's a sell short signal right here, so we are near that, okay, if we, if, if we get a green candles, all right, buy to cover signal, close the trade, get out, all right, um, EPU, we should be out of this one right here. Sell short signal, green candles. All right, came in. We don't have a buy to cover signal yet, but we'll go ahead and close that trade. All right, close that trade. And that's EPU, so we'll close that. All right, um, Monster ETF, that, the gold trade in Monster ETF. So that's holding, and you guys know gold is holding. All right, so in monster etf um, gld all right and i e f i think that is what 10 year yeah seven 10 year treasury all right buy signal is here retrace a bit right here all right um so if the market moves higher we might see continued pullback in in this treasury bonds right here so uh, keep an eye on that if anyone is trading it. Okay, no white candles yet, no red candles. Okay, all right, all right. The VIX is coming down, guys. The VIX is coming down. So um, the market has stabilized for now. All right. So um, we're not trading near support. Right on the Dow, here is support down here. We are trading near resistance here. All right, so if the markets continue to hold, we could see buying, right? Still early on the Dow. All right, we don't have white candles yet, but guess what? If you guys look here, we are making higher highs and higher lows here. Every candle, right, keeps going higher and higher and higher. Okay, so. Um, all the market has to do now is just hold, get some buying, and we could see this, right? We could see where, you know, we get a big green candle and all of a sudden we're moving higher again. Okay, so um, you can, you know, start to take some positions in stocks, but be very, very careful. If you're getting it from heat seeker, just be careful. And again, uh, stay within those sectors. All right. Um, the Nasdaq, so that was the Dow, the Nasdaq. We've got green candles here. So, you know, no red candles, right? Um, it broke through previous resistance, all right? And um, it's holding, it's holding, all right? It's holding. Uh, S&P is also holding, all right? S&P is also holding right here, right? sellers white candles all right if it continues to move higher it's moving higher guys look here all right so unless we unless we get some selling right we could see where right that price continues to move higher 
all right get some green candles and all of a sudden we're testing this resistance okay so that's encouraging for the equity markets all right we no longer right moving down in that markdown phase okay so very encouraging for the equity markets all right and this is the s p Uh, the Russell is still testing support. All right, so it's the only index that's really testing support. So you got pretty good support right here. Pretty good support right here. Here's the current price action. Okay, so you got support here, and then um, you could count this down here, support. Okay, but guess what? You could get buyers to come in. All right, so support is here, resistance is here, All right? Resistance, let's say here, really good resistance right here, right? It's tight channel right here. So we could see buyers come in and push it back up to here. So this is consolidation. We're in a, <laughs> we're in a, it's not as tight, but still trading within that box right here between support and resistance so no trends right now so anything can happen guys anything can happen all right but the bias right now is to the upside we could see these the markets move um to the upside all right uh, the vix is below 20 for the first time in a while all right so we're at 19 98 all right so it's below 20 all right so vix is below 20 red candles and see it's coming down lower here so that's encouraging remember number below 20 all right we could see the market move higher all right so that's coming down all right not far from 20 but we would like to see it come down even further all right indexes i'm sorry sectors are moving higher right we finally got um up right um, in the NASDAQ, we've had that. Um, S&P gave a new up. So we see, we can see, you know, it's moving higher. Buyers are coming in, in the indexes and definitely the sectors here. All right. So home construction, uh, communication services, uh, technology, right? Technology, uh, consumer uh, staples and consumer discretionary. Okay. So that's really good. That's really good. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Stock Boss. Let's see if we have any new stocks in Stock Boss this evening. Okay. Um, let's run it right now. So we're going to run track 22,000 um, stocks quickly. And let's see here. Basic materials. Um, you guys can keep an eye on uh, NGD, right? Price is moving higher. All right, we could get a buy signal soon on that NGD. All right, some consolidation in here, but still looks good. That's basic materials, right? So gold and silver. Um, EQX, we got a buy signal today, so we'll add that. All right, we'll add that uh, to Stock Boss. So Stock Boss. All right. Clean buy signal on a break of this resistance right here. Pretty good resistance here. Buy signal right here by the system. All right. And it's an inexpensive stock, guys. It closed at 4, uh, I'm sorry, 5.13 today. All right. So 5.13 today. Uh, really good markdown phase. Look at this markdown phase. All right. Nice markdown phase has gotten through this consolidation. And guess what? It's moving higher. All right, so we'll add that one here, and that's that's um, uh, that's gold and silver right here. All right, so stock boss EQX. All right, EQX. All right, let's keep going. SVM. All right, we're already in that one. Okay, SVM in stock boss. Okay, so. That's the move we had today on that one. Um, technology. Let's take a look at technology. Um, nothing there. 
All right, nothing there. Uh, technology. I want to wait on the other sectors. All right, on the other sectors. All right. Okay. A uh, bull master. Let's see what we've got in bull master. Let's run it quickly here. So we've got nine symbols. So not a lot, but let's see what we've got here. Um, P A A S. Keep an eye on it, guys. Nice markdown phase. Right, price is moving higher. We just need a buy signal. We could get a buy signal any day now. Any day now, we'll get a buy signal. So keep an eye on it. Um, that's um, gold and silver right here. And technology. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, NTES, nothing there. A lot of consolidation in there. We don't have a buy signal, but a lot of choppiness in here, a lot of consolidation. You would have to get through, all right? Good markdown phase here, but it's trading all the way up here, all right? That's not good. If you guys look here, we have a lot of consolidation. What a price to get through. So we don't, we don't, we want to stay away from that. So a lot of consolidation in here, okay? You could get it up to here. That's $90 here. Here is 105, uh, not a good risk reward trade there. Okay, so uh, just stay away from that one. So nothing in um, Bull Master. Okay, nothing in um, in Bull Master. Uh, let's take a look at Forex, right? And I doubt we'll find anything in Monster Scalper, uh, but let's see. You never know. All right, markets are it's consolidating, but you never know. All right. So, uh, let's move this. We're looking for long opportunities. On the 240. I tell you, we could see um, reversal in the yen pairs for long. All right. Now on euro dollar, you guys can we we're already in it, so you can definitely. Um, yes, there was a good opportunity to get in. Um, EUR SGD. Okay, we're going to add that one buy signal right here. Break up this resistance right here. Okay. Um, EUR SEK. I'm sorry. EUR SEK buy signal right here. Looking to break resistance. So E U R S E K. All right. And that's in Monster Scalper, guys. All right. E U R S E K. Okay. And fairly decent trading. Look at the previous long trade. Really nice long trade here. All right. And even back here, right? Decent long trade here. So it's been trading well long. E U R S E K. Okay. Keep going. Keep an eye on, we don't have a buy signal yet, okay? But EURCHF, all right? Those of you trading Monster Scarpa, keep an eye on it, okay? 
All right. If you get a buy signal, that could be a decent trade. You've got some consolidation in here. If you can get past um, the resistance in here, this could be a good trade. All right. But it would be a high buy signal. But keep an eye on it. The euro pairs are moving. All right. Nothing here. That's it. Pound. Uh, same thing with pound Swiss. All right. If you guys get a buy signal, all right, get a buy signal, a high buy signal, right? You get resistance right here. If you can get a buy signal up in this area here, you might get a move higher. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. Let's see what's happening here on the weekly. All right. So you could get buy, buy in to come in, get a big candle, break out of this markdown phase, kind of like the here. All right. Sellers, right? Accumulation, right? Markdown, accumulation, mark up. Right, mark down accumulation. Price is accumulating down here. I know it's hard to see, but support is right here. You get a big candle here. All right, so um, keep an eye on that. Uh, wait for your your buy signal on the two forty. Okay, so buyers are coming in. You got big green candles, guys. So, all right. And I know it's high in the mark, you know, high up in, you know, top of your chart here. But this could be a good trade. All right, that's pound Swiss, uh, pound CAD, pound CAD. Um, uh, we should be out of pound CAD. All right, so we should be out. That sell signal just came in, guys. That just now came in. Okay, so pound CAD sell signal, red candle. Look here, perfect absolutely perfect right broke support right here look here broke support red candle sell signal we should be out okay so if anyone is trading it um close it so we're going to close pound cad we'll do that right now okay so pound cad so use your systems okay so pound cad right here all right pound cad no right here i'm sorry Pound CAD in Monster Scalper, not Forex Dominator, Monster Scalper. All right, we're going to close it. There it is right here. All right, red candle, sell short signal. All right, so we should be out. So we'll close that. Okay. All right, so if, you, if anyone is in it, go ahead and close it. Okay. All right. Um, pound Aussie. Pound Aussie. Keep an eye on Pound Aussie. So if um, Pound CAD closed, right? Pound Aussie is right here. All right. White candle right here. You could get a red candle and a sell signal on Pound Aussie also. Okay. So if that happens, close it. We haven't seen where there is a lot of selling in the pound pairs overall, all right? Um, not yet anyway, all right? They are pulling back. All right, they are pulling back. So um, if anyone is in this, uh, you know, you could, you could go ahead and just take profits and get out because you could get um, a red candle because they follow each other, guys. Okay, so all right, so just if, if you want to, if you're in it, pound Aussie, you want to take profits, um, get out, that's fine because all right, pound cat is closing and the others might follow. All right, and they've been moving up, right? If you look here, all right, that's two decent trades in the markup phase. All right, so could get ex could be extended, and with the consolidation we see right here, right, we, we see consolidation so. These, these trades might close and be very concerned with these yen pairs, the short pairs. All right. We could see we could see a lot of the pairs um, close within the next couple of days. All right. 
and and con consolidate even further. They have to consolidate before they start moving again. All right. So uh, shorts. Let's take a look at shorts. Very selective. Certainly won't have any shorts in um, in the yen pairs. And it's definitely coming in, guys. Look here in the yen pairs. Right here, see green candles are coming in. Sell short signal is here, but green candles are coming in. So these these yen pairs will will close. for shorts look at uh usd mexican peso mxn moving down nicely Ten more minutes all right dollar cad um i don't think we're in this one all right so we'll add dollar cad usd CAD, you know, the dollar's moving lower, guys. So dollar CAD short, right, in Monster Scalper. All right, so that's a good pick here. Sell short signal is right here on a break of support. All right, so here's your support line right here. Broke support, got a sell short signal right here, right? Here's your triangle right here, and here it is moving lower, okay? So dollar CAD short, so we'll add that in Monster Scalper short, okay? Dollar CAD. I think here. You never know what you find. All right, we're going to add, um, oh boy, let's see here. So dollar cad is the only short, okay? So in Monster Scalper, we've got EUR SEK long, all right, and dollar cad short, all right? All right. Okay, let's take a quick look at Forex Dominator and we'll, we'll be done, all right? So we're looking for longs. And those of you with Monster Scalper, guys, this is what you want to do. This is what you want to go through. This is how you want to look for opportunities. Doesn't take a lot. Keep an eye on EURTRY in Forex uh, Dominator. All right. Are we in this one? Oh, yeah, we're in this one already. All right. So in this one here. Um, no, I'm sorry. Euro dollar. Keep an eye on Euro dollar. All right. All right. It's getting ready to break resistance. Now we'll check it, right? If if it gives a buy signal um, overnight. Or tomorrow we'll we'll catch it tomorrow, right? We'll go over it tomorrow. But euro dollar is looking looking to move higher, and with the dollar moving down, 
right? The euro dollar will move higher, okay? So this could be a good trade here, all right? ERTY, we're already in this, in that one. We're in this one. Looking for new buys. Uh, also, EURHKD setting up, guys, setting up for a buy signal, all right? We just need a break of resistance here to give a buy signal. This is in Forex Dominator. Same thing with EURCHF, they're definitely setting up. Uh, same thing with Pound Dollar, all right? So all the reverse, Aussie dollar, pound dollar, euro dollar, okay? Um, as the dollar goes lower, right, those should break out, right? So pound dollar, right, we could get a buy signal almost near the previous buy signal right here on a break of resistance, okay? So we're getting close there. Same with GBP HKD. So we might, when we go through these tomorrow, guys, we might have some buy signals, more buy signals in the pound pairs. And uh, some of the pound pairs are doing well. All right. So pound, pound, um, pound CAD. We're in pound CAD. All right. Pound CAD here. All right. We're in pound CAD. Pound SGD. Where is it? Um, right here. Okay, so we should see moves move higher. Okay, so shorts and we'll be done. All right, shorts and 4x dominator, new shorts. Keep an eye on, just be careful, guys. With these shorts, we could see things change, but keep an eye on USD TRY. All right, so that's part of the dollar group. All right, so uh, I'm sorry, USD JPY. So that's part. It's part of the yen group, but it's also part of the dollar group. So if the dollar make a move lower, we could see um, a sell short signal come in here. All right. Several of these we're already in. I really want to take a look at the, the dollar pairs. Dollar czar. Um, S, USD SGD. Keep an eye on this, right? You can get a sell short signal. Really good previous trade. We just need a sell short signal to come in. All right, USD SGD. All right, same with uh, USD SEK. Same with uh, the dollar pairs. Make a note, guys. The dollar pairs in Forex dominators, they're setting up. All right. USD PLN, right? We just need a break of support, right? Sell short signal. Okay. All right. Same with uh, USD MXN, Mexican peso. Uh, same with USD HUF. All right. All right, same with uh, USD DKK, okay? They're setting up. Uh, same with uh, USD CZK, all right? And, okay, that's it. All right, guys, so lots of information. Okay, make sure you clean your trade. So if, if you got any signals to exit, red candles, make sure you clean things up, okay? Um, again, markets is, con you know, Forex is consolidating. We haven't seen it where it's been consolidating like this, where we only have 17 pairs above 20. All right, so pay attention to that. Still trade, you can still trade, but trade lightly. Um, be very, very selective. Okay, and the um, um, the equity markets, right? Futures are up currently, right? Dollars coming down, right? The VIX, 
is at 19, right? It's at 19.99, so it's below 20. So we'll take that, all right? So we could see the markets uh, continue to move higher. No buy signals yet, right, in the indexes, okay? But we're seeing flow, right? We're seeing money flow into, starting to flow into the sectors, right, into the indexes, okay? So um, we, we could have a, a decent week, right? We could see where... Um, by the end of the week, right, the VIX could come down even further, okay? But we're in an environment where, guys, anything can happen, okay? All right, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for coming. See you guys tomorrow, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.